Mastering the Art of Closed-Ended Questions Hello learners! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to dive deep into a special topic that can greatly enhance your communication skills, closed-ended questions. Not only are these useful in debates and discussions, but they also come in handy during everyday conversation. Closed-ended questions are types of questions that can be answered with a yes, a no, or very brief information. They don't invite a detailed or expansive response. An example could be, do you like pizza? Which can be answered simply with yes or no. Closed-ended questions are crucial because they allow you to get specific and straightforward answers. But remember, they limit the respondent's ability to express their thoughts fully. Now, let's look at some examples of closed-ended questions. Pay attention to the simplicity and directness in these questions. 1. Did you finish your homework? 2. Is your favorite color blue? 3. Can you play the guitar? Each of these questions can be answered with a simple yes or no and they don't require further explanation. Knowing when to use closed-ended questions can really sharpen your English skills. They are perfect for times when you need a clear, straightforward answer. In a debate, they can be used to corner your opponent or to get them to commit to a position. During a discussion, they can help guide the conversation and keep it focused on specific points. In everyday conversations, they can be used to confirm information or to make a quick decision. To create a closed-ended question, start with a verb like is, do, are, can, or will. Follow this with the subject, and then the rest of your question. For example, is the meeting tomorrow? Or, can you join us for dinner? Keep in mind, closed-ended questions should be precise and to the point. And that wraps up our lesson on closed-ended questions. They're a great tool for keeping your debates, discussions, and conversations laser-focused and concise. Practice using these types of questions in your English conversations and see the difference they can make. Thank you for tuning in, and remember, Keep practicing and you'll continue to improve your English. Until next time.